children come and go through times of peace and destruction, prosperity and decay, the astral and the umbral. It is the order of things and the balance must be maintained. Peace has ruled this, the sixth astral era, for many years. Now the winds of change blow again, only something feels different, upsetting. I've sensed this before, and I must warn my children before it is too late. The last time these winds blew, I almost did not recover. Through my gift of echo, I've chosen champions to see what is going to happen if they continue on their path. I sense this one champion in particular holds the balance in his hands. I must show my story before all is lost. I told you we should have taken the airship. <laughs> yes, my dear. I was on my own up against two fire drakes. Wow. Indeed, it was a truly <laughs> ghastly nonsense. And then he tells me he's got a jumping chocobo. <laughs> oh, come on! It's not the size to count! Thou canst be serious. You have no idea what you're missing out on. Yourself useful, Sprag. What? They're running away. Now they're coming back.
do my eyes deceive me? You never seen anything like it. La menza, la menza. A sight for me, so rise. <laughs> I watches saw a storm along their route. I get to be first assessor. Not fair. Why? Look what the tide's carried in today, mates. Another fearless adventurer nearly come to this forsaken land to save us from our woes. The name's Baderon, and this most hospitable of hostelries is the Drowning Wench. Now, I ain't got nothing against your toy, but I feel it's me civic duty to tell ye, the Rosie is no place for the light of art. What with slaver and beastmen and power-hungry Imperials, I reckon ye'd be well advised to scamper off to whatever boat you came in on, and ride her all the way back to your mammy's tea. Is that right? I barely made it here to begin with. Not for the sea serpent and all, then now you want me to go back? You're a loony. Lance says he's seen a mighty sea beast. <laughs> he ain't the first Roylander to come in here, spouting such bilge, and nor will you be the last. Why, look what else the tide's carried in today, mates. And if this one ain't a pretty flower all decked in fancies, come to the Drowning Wench to play adventures with me and me boys, eh? Boys? Why, perhaps I'm in the wrong establishment. I heard I would find men here. Men who could provide me with information on a certain treasure I've heard whispers of. Ooh, a feisty one. Boy, I could tell ye all about the hidden treasure, as could any of these scrags. Not a soul in Limsa what wouldn't want to get his hands on that there bounty. But here's the rap. Tis rumored to be buried on a tiny island by the name of Seal Rock. And ain't nobody but them grunts what call themselves Knights of the Barracuda, or them scholarlies over at Melvin's Gate allowed within 50 mounds of the place. In other words, not one of your boys has the stones to find a way past those obstacles and onto that rock. What a peaceful little town this is. Peaceful? This cesspool ain't nothing but a boy on a rosier's arse, and it'd be festering with more scum than you'll find in me pub's privy. Case you didn't notice, lass, the town's crawling with pirates, and I don't mean the kind with pirates and eye patches. I mean the coin that like making what's yours theirs, and don't mind cutting a few throats while they're about it. There's a war going on twixt rival factions, 
Rosewind and her sanguine sirens against Carvalane and his cracking arms, with each and every one of them looking to dispose of Limbs as new admiral and take the spot for themselves. Problem is, they're too busy ripping out each other's gizzards to get round to doing the chief himself. And we can't forget about them fishbacks now, can we? The Sahagin been breathing out Limbs's neck for nigh on four years, and there ain't no signs of them letting up. What of the Empire? Why, they're just sitting up there in Garamold, waiting for this city to burn so they can fly down here in their arrow ships and sweep up the embers. Surely the Garleans would not declare war on an independent Eorzean commonwealth this far south. That's balls, lass! The Imperials declare what they like and re-educate them what think different. Any sprat spit knows that. Ye ain't from round these parts, are ye? You could say that, but I plan on staying. So do not think this the last you will see of me. Now wait! Where was I? Oh, right. Young fledgling like you want to make a name for yourself in this piss hole? Take me advice. Find yourself a girl to get to work. You'd be less than not in this world if you ain't got girl. And by the looks of your purse, not would be a step up for ye, poor sod. Let me see. Hold on a second. What's that there you got in your bag? Like this? I think so it'll down after the storm. I saw this fish flopping about on the deck. That would make a tasty wee snack. Well, at least you had half the sense to stick it in your pack there. Maybe it'd be time for you to step out and see the world for what she truly be. A stinking maw lined with razor-sharp teeth ready to rip your arse right out your trappings. But before you go out, you're gonna need some gill. And you're just in luck. I might know someone who would be interested in your balloon fish. We call it the Culinary Guild. Ask for Linsgath. Tell him I sent you. Take this here like pearl. No strings attached. If you find yourself in trouble, just call me on the ether. Can't guarantee I'll answer, though. Now off with you. I got casks to tap. Men waste too much time wagging their tongues for meaningless utterances when they should be devoting the magnificent gust organ to savor the world's infinite pan of uh, flavors. Oh, what a time! Mark. Badron said you'd be here seven bells ago. All right, maybe not seven. Uh, anyway, no harm done. Now, hand over the goods. I know you've got it on your person now. Caught a whiff of it when you were still a mile away. <laughs> Would you look at that? Ain't but once in a blue moon you ever see a balloon fish in here. See, you have to be proper seething to hack one of these ugly lads up from us a vessel aboard. Won't find nothing in the five seas as sumptuous as a balloon fish. Though these days, many, 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 many girls want girls so much as come through the door to be here And why would your patrons deem the presence of this particular denizen of the deep inauspicious? Might it have something to do with the fact that it appeared on the ship at precisely the same time as we were assaulted by a colossal serpent? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, my lady. Did you just say you were attacked by a blind sea serpent? By sea serpent, do you mean the mythological creature frequently documented in Nimza Laminza's historic records? <laughs> there ain't a sprat of mounds who can tell you that bedtime story. Of the fearsome beastie that crushes ship in its mighty maw and swallows old crews in a single gulp. Hang about. Story goes that the creature guards a mountain of gold and diamonds and if whoever finds it, gets to rule the seas for all his days. Treasure. Like the kind that's rumoured to be hidden up in that seal rock. And so myth becomes reality. Perhaps it has already begun. off the boat, eh? All right, let's see you aim your firearm. Would you believe me if I told you I didn't have one? What? You waltz your way into a town teeming with pirates and cutthroats and don't even bother bringing a musket. 
Ease off, Corporal. Now lend the adventure one of our weapons. Hm, you know how to use that? Then draw. Weapon recruit? Men! Hey. Which of you thought it would be wise to lend the civilian your firearm? No one speaking up then, eh? Listen close, Lady Fancy Bridges. You were a long way from your daddy's villa up in Fancyshire. If you were lost, you'd best turn around and find yourself a porter to carry your bags back home. We're only looking for real men and women for this operation. <laughs> Would you look at that, Sergeant? We may have found the Keeper. Says his name is Verdolan. Hmm. I don't know who taught you that firing stance, but in future, I suggest having somewhat more discretion when choosing a monitor. Back to the admissions desk, room back. Back so soon, eh? I had a feeling you would not fare well. You say you were advised to apply for the fifth levy. Now, but that. The air has corroded your brain, case and you're dreaming of an epic sea battles with giant squid beasts. There's little I can say that will prevent you from applying to join the fifth levy. Unsurprisingly, the Barracudas are already looking for fresh replacements for that unit. All right, Greenbacks, the festivities have come to a close. The Seal Rock unit has been filled, and none of you are in it. But before you go crying back to your mammies, we always have room for more failures like you in the fifth. Who knows, maybe we can even make men out of you, if you last long enough. <laughs> Dismissed! Thou's balls. I was told joining the Cudas would have given me a ticket to Seal Rock. Should have seen it coming. Cudas knew all along that every rough tongue and rascal within a hundred miles would be down here trying to sneak his way into the ranks. He made me all the way to the final ten, but some sneaky sop dumped him in. There goes me bleeding cut. Huh. I know about you, but I reckon risking your neck out for imaginary coin is a job best left to the endearingly hopeful and the hopelessly thick. I, on the other hand, have got better things to do with me time. Emmerich. Captain Carvalain has sent me to find you, says it's urgent might. Wait right there. You claim to be an adventurer, yet you have the stench of a pirate. Might you be trying to deceive us as that ruffian Emmerich did earlier? No matter. If you have aught to hide, we have means to divine it. Come with me. Now, let me see. Vagrant Risk Breaker. Vagrant. 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 Ah, yes. I recall you being registered at the Adventures Guild. I believe you still carry a standard issue flintlock lent to you by one of our knights. You are to return it to our quartermaster in the weapons depot on the lower floor. I already gave it back. Your sergeant took it. You say you already returned it to the sergeant? But I just spoke with him. Why didn't he? Very well. I shall inquire with the sergeant once more. You are free to go, but I ask that you do not leave the city until our investigation into the weapon is complete. Fair enough. I'll just explore the city then. An adventurer! An adventurer! Thank the Twelve. You're just what we've been looking for. Think you can spare a bell to lend us a hand? Make it worth your while, we will. Worth my while, eh? That depends on what you needed. 
To the south of the city sits a lighthouse we pullers call Ocean's Torch. The guild has some important business there, but day in and day out we hear nothing but reports of the Serpent Reavers attacking anything that comes near the place. Why, just the other day, I heard the Kudas march down that way meaning to send the fishbacks packing and got their noses bloody, good and proper. I know this is a lot to ask, but we need someone to go and check on that building. We'd send our own, but as you can see, the boys down here ain't armed with nothing but fishing rods and trawling nets. Aha! Who is this standing before me but an adventurous looking adventurer? First from one adventure, now in search of another! And your search has brought you to none other than the Fisherman's Guild, a paradise for pullers. And by pullers, I mean pullers of nets. And by nets, I mean ones chock full of fresh fish from the frothing fathoms of our fair waters. Unfortunately, as you can see, we're as short of hands as I am on height. And where, you ask, of all my hard-working handyman and woman-headed? Why, to try to stave off the slimy sagging sullying our seas. Ever since they began creeping out of their coastal caves, they've done nothing but cause constant commotion, preventing my poor puller from pulling that which is their prerogative to pull. And now their latest target is the lighthouse on the southwestern tip of the God's Grip. Without the light from that lighthouse to light up the night, our ships will surely be shorn to shreds in the shallow shoals near the shores. That's why, a few days back, I hired the services of a band of adventurers to accompany a part of the pools to protect the place. Now, I wish to hire you to do the same for young Sisipu here. The lighthouse is not that far, and there have been no reported sightings of the salivating Sahagin or their serpent reversitae. But I'm not a man to take chances. Chances? Ridiculous. Preposterous. Preposterous. I can take care of myself. And even if I couldn't, I don't believe this malnourished, starving adventurer could offer me much in the way of assistance. Now, 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 my petite sweet pea to see, we already spoke of this. If by happenstance any horrendous happenings happen to happen to you, I could never for the rest of forever forgive myself. While I agree with your assuredly accurate assessment of this adventure, he was absolutely all I could afford. Uh, or should I say absolutely all I was predisposed to pay for? Uh, that said, I believe he may be of some use. Why, if anything attacks, let him distract the dastardly dastards while you saunter away to safety. And thus is your assignment. I won't ask if you choose to accept, as I've already seen the answer in your eyes. Good luck, and may the ladies' embrace be long and less vicious. <laughs> I want to earn my girl standing here all day. <sighs> if only the guildmaster had paid for decent help the first time, I wouldn't be out to see in this accursed colander again. Oh well, if you're truly intent on tagging along, I suppose I'd better impart to you an invaluable piece of advice. You see a Sahagin, you drop everything and start running. Don't worry about me, because I'll already have started running myself. And won't stop until I'm safely back in Fisherman's Bottom. Keep an eye out for the Serpent Reavers as well. Used to be normal folk like you and me, until they sold their souls to the Sahagin for a few bars of gold and the promise of endless carnage. Probably more dangerous than the fish packs, because you won't know if the friend of phone till there's a dagger in your back. That is, unless you know our guild's secret set of hand signals, they're how we can tell whether or not someone is a puller. If you could beat me outside, I'll show you the basics. <laughs> have a bit of an unfair advantage, don't you think? Whatever. You want a race? We'll race. your way out here, I have to give you that. But have you made sufficient preparations for the serpent weavers? I should probably say that if the Sahagin serpents catch you, they'll rip out your lungs and cast your lifeless body into the sea, or a slimy spawn to feast upon, while your tattered soul experiences the first pangs of an eternity of agony and abyssal depths. Excited yet? Yeah? I know I am. Now let us be off. I haven't got all day. Strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. I pray everyone's all right. Oh my, no one's here. Shut your cake all and listen. Make your pack, see? Pirate a pirate like. 
I swear on me mother's grave. Twelve take us all. That, if you give us an hand, I'll personally guarantee you come way victorious. But of course, we would have it no other Just way. Just keep an eye out for that flash bug of Merrin. Swings and acts like a bleating thunderbolt in a hurry. I normally recommend keeping your distance from that one if you're fond of your head. We don't want no unnecessary bloodshed now, do we? I shall make a point to share your sentiments with the Sahagi. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, arr, ye be one of me fellow pullers, right? Well met, lad. Ye needs not be here now. In good company, ye be. Why, I'd be, be a puller myself. I came looking for the Sahagin. Well, ye just missed him. Me and me mate had daggers drawn, ready to slit each and every one of their traitorous gullets. Luckily for them, they passed by with none cousin of us. Looks like they was only ever scouting. Ah. Uh, well, if ye don't mind, we'll be getting back to Fisherman's Bottom to report our findings then. Good day to ye. Hey, <laughs> didn't he give up, sweetheart? I think we may have found your pillars. Ah, I found the other pillars. Perhaps they were hiding in the nearby caves while the readers did their even. Look! The old washman's with them as well. I appreciate the concern, young lass. Weren't in that much danger. What with the girl's patrol ship here not long after the reavers landed? I'd better be safe than sorry, I reckon. Might still be some stranglers left ashore. Well, better get back to my room then. A few years back, when I was still young, the Sahagi raided a village near here. They slaughtered everyone they caught, and they burned the place to the ground. I was worried the same might have happened today. But it seems for Burns, the Knights of the Barracuda did the jobs, so we might as well return to the Fisherman's Bottom before the weather takes a turn for the worse. You see? I knew this aspiring adventurer would be the most appropriate agent for this assignment. He has proven far braver than one might have assumed from the scanty sum required to secure his services. Perhaps you should ponder a permanent position in our guild. Ah, but first, I believe you'd like to be richly recompensed for services readily rendered. Ah, excellent. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. If you ever need a hand again, I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you again, Vagrant. Well, would you look at that. Laddies, another fearless adventurer wanders into the forge. Ye like playing knights and dragons with the other kiddies, eh? We can play if you like. Just let me warm me poker first. Or maybe you would be one of them venturers thinking. We can snap our fingers and transform ye into a full-fledged shipwright with our amity magics. Well, ain't you in for a surprise, then? You could have sprung forth from the salty loins, oh mighty Limlin herself. But there ain't no way you'd get to join up with that steel master Hernanza's say so. Talk to her if you like, but you better pray she ain't in one of her moods. Oi! Out of the way. Good work. Just wish we could have completed it in time for the Seal Rock expedition. Something's wrong with the engine. I have someone from Garland Ironworks here working on it, but progress is slow. There is little we can do about that now. Though it would have been nice to join the scholars on this trip. As for the Seal Rock, might you have learned whence the island came? That's what we've been trying to do for the past few months. Unfortunately, matters here on local waters keep me from visiting the island in person. Ah, you speak of the stowaways on that passenger ship, yes? You mean the pirate ship? I locked up the crew for questioning the moment they dropped anchor in the bay. We were trying to extract the confession from that one-eyed captain of theirs, but so far, neither he nor any of his crew are susceptible to the standard forms of coercion. But if it was transporting more than simple passengers, that would perhaps go some way to explaining the appearance of the seesaw. Where did you...? Enough in answer. A seasick shopkeep saw a wave and swore it was a monster. Nothing more. My apologies, Stolman. You there! You heard nothing of this, understood? Anyone asks you anything, 
You tell them the sea serpents are not but the bastard spawn of corrupt and credulity. Commandor, the Sahagin have ambushed the Provisional Squadron en route to Seal Rock. Fifth Levy is currently engaging the enemy. Heavy losses are reported. Squadron commander amongst casualties. Acting commander does not think this attack is random. And believes someone from within the ranks has discovered our plans to the enemy. Relay the fleet's coordinates to general command. Order the frigate's launch immediately. What are you doing here, Rostenstall? Come to pay off your debts? Why, you crab legged crone? Your damn ship's rust at the bottom of the sea. Of course it is. You get what you pay for, and you barely paid me enough to make a dinghy, let alone a ship that could survive the currents near Seal Rock. Now, get out of my forge! Wait a second. Isn't that the guy I just... What the twelve has gone on? <laughs>